Reynolds. <laughs> Get wrecked. But um, the whole scenario is that he uses those drugs to um, actually use the Batman goggles, the detective mode, the Batman goggles. Yeah, they're pretty much you know they sh- they tell him every detail of every possible thing. Yeah. And in order for him to sustain use of it, he needs to take the drugs. All right. Because the glasses have a horrible side effect, and yeah, so yeah, okay. you can choose throughout the course of the story to avoid the temptation. But you gave in. I've got to get into Denman one more. There's a concept in that manga that's very similar to that. It's like there's a pill where if you don't take it, um, the collar that they've attached around your neck will inject this poison Manfred. slowly that yeah. will kill you after three days. Yeah. And if you don't take, um, if you don't earn enough credit points from doing what crazy sick challenges in this Dead Man Wonderland, really you, you can't buy Why the candy that can cure it and last you another know, three days. Hmm. It's like this sick uh, twisted what, prison. What is it? You have to take a pill so the collar is not injected? Uh, no, so um, it's like an antidote for the poison that's slowly getting injected. Okay. Yeah. It's interesting. I'm enjoying it right now. Why? Uh, is it? We'll just ignore that and continue on. Um, <laughs> was, how many volumes are out right now? Three. So oh, okay. once I finish up on three, I'll bring him over the next time this we have a session, God. and I'll, yeah. I'll let you take him. Yeah, it's really interesting. Well, good to see you. But you know, I'll read him so quick that I'll be done yeah, by you, the time oh, you have to leave. Yeah, exactly. About ten years, I guess. My age, time means nothing. For me, it's taken me like two weeks now. <laughs> it's like on and off, I'll read like a chapter. It's easier, it's all pictures. Yeah, but I, I just like read a chapter and then I'll be done until, I, until the next time I feel like it. I don't stop till I finish the book. That's crazy. I'm a private investor. crazy, man. Uh, in terms of what's happening, uh, Hello. when Lauren came over, she gave him the letter. She looks like she's wearing a hood from that angle. Wow, this, <laughs> yeah. This is a celebration. She's like trying she's to, con- okay, bro. She's trying to conceal her identity so Wait her there. prostitute life can stay intact or something. I'm sure I, I saw a bottle of scotch <laughs> Gang member on day, prostitute by night. <laughs> I am mixed up careers woman. <laughs> nice to see Manfred again. Um, yeah, so the letter we got from Lauren led to this typewriting shop, this antique shop. That's why we follow up on some clues. Sure, no problem. Alright, so we're gonna answer the phone. It's not even your phone, but it's okay. Yeah. Now he, uh, he had just asked us to answer it for him. Oh. Because he's old. Yeah, this is Manfred's. He's not available right now. Could you call back later this afternoon? He's busy drinking. The funny thing was actually the Oregon killer. Hmm? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> yeah, as I was saying. <laughs> what were you saying, actually? Um, I even forgot what's going on. This it, it would be funny if that well, guy on the phone was the killer. And he's friends. like, yeah, it's cool, I can wait. I've just got these kids underwater that are slowly drowning. <laughs> no pressure. Let's keep going. <laughs> We've got to be at our drunkest to solve these kids. He needs that buzz before he can get <laughs> comfortable. She, oh, she looked like she was saying it. <laughs> no, we haven't gone to that yes, depressing age of society know. yet. This will be like, what, age? This is like pre hipster. Crafted yeah. in Venice in the 18th century. Hmm. It's one of my favorite pieces. And you can take selfies with it. <laughs> Multifunctional. Tell me, Scott. What brings you back after all these years? I'd like you to have a look at the alcohol. I thought maybe you could tell me about the typewriter that was used to type the address. How do they know each other? They're old friends. Oh. Let's have a look. Now, could you pass me the uh, magnifying glass from behind the counter? Yeah, sure after my legs stop giving way. My eyes are beginning to fail me. <laughs> yeah, we mentioned this before earlier, but how, how hilarious it would be to see people in the real world walking like this. Yeah. 
<laughs> emotionless stone cold face. And just killing his legs going every which way. <laughs> Running the streets. And will all pass the save for itself. Hmm. The Royal Five. Mm -hmm. Yes, the shape of the T's and the F's is typical of that model. Produced between 1907 and 1924. Yes. No doubt about it. It's a Royal Five. That's like the next level of typewriter nerdism. Are there many places around that could prepare one of these? I bought the company's entire stock of spare parts for a song in uh, 64. Well, they were going to take them to the dumpster, so I got the lot. <laughs> now, anybody around here who has one that actually works has been to see me at one time or another. Press X. X, X, X. Would you remember a client named Gordy Kramer? Sorry, you don't do Gordy Kramer? Hmm. That name sounds familiar. He reminds me of a fiction that looks just cartoons all day. Doesn't even take advantage of the fact that he's got two hot women on his couch. That's why I write everything down. <laughs> oh my god. These typewriters, are they rare? No, 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 they're fairly common. I'd say many folks have one gathering dust in an attic or in their cellar. Do you keep a record of all your clients? Oh, yes, indeed. Well, at least the ones who pay. <laughs> Any chance I could get a peek at that? Yes, of course. I keep my account books in the office. Uh, may or may not have your biscuit all over your floor. I may or may not kill you afterwards. Who ever bought a Royal Five or, or had one repaired? Yeah, that would really help us out. Mm -hmm. How long have you been going in the forest? Give me two minutes, and I'll be right back with the list. Um, sorry, an hour now. Which is pretty okay. Should we take a break after this scenario? Yeah, I think so. If he has a 1920s typewriter, he may have needed Manfred's services to get it fixed. We'll know when we get the list. There's a bit over there. Alright, <laughs> all, those, all those distractions aside, back to the story. Um, we're just getting Manfred's help in order to identify the typewriter, and he's getting us a list of clients that. Um, or ever bought or used one of the Royal Five Typewriters. Because that might help. Does he have that in his history or something? He's, he has a store, so it's in his logbook. It's been a while since Manfred went into his office. Let's just take a look. Lauren thinks she's about to find the killer. I'm afraid she's going to be disappointed. Hello? Manfred! Hello? Your call is lost, sir. A police car will be there in a few minutes. What? I need to know who you are, sir. Sir? Stop acting surprised, you know what's happening. I've never played this before. Okay, mate. I don't even know why I'm here. Did he actually just die? Well, like, the person on the other end was Reggie, and he was just renouncing that Smash Ball was cancelled, so... Oh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still butthurt about that. Poor old man. He didn't deserve to go like that. What the hell happened to him? Well, he's dead. <gasps> oh my god. Just of old age. What are you doing? Yeah, oh, he was like please. literally too old, and the killer has was just keeping him on the keeping No, I'm, I'm like so confused right now. We gotta get the hell out of here. What do you mean? I actually don't know why. We have want. nothing to do with this death. We're just okay. when it happens. I thought you were being sarcastic. Look, we're running out of time to find Sean Mars. <laughs> the last thing we need is 24 hours in a police station explaining this whole thing. Well, so what do we do? But no, I like to think that he's just really slow and he just realized he's 90 years old Watch and just the front door. I'll get rid of our It's like, oh wait, I'm going to be for two long. Came in. Collapse. I work fast. The police are going to be here any minute. See you guys on the flip side. <laughs> you know that what are you doing, Lord? If someone comes in, we're going to be in trouble. These are Manfred's account books. 
He was the one of the royals when he was killed. Go get him. We gotta get out of here fast. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Alright, so we gotta wipe all our fingerprints off every single touch, so. Let's go for all the shot glasses. Because we took a shot of whatever it is. That wouldn't be enough. No, but, but this is the easiest thing to remember about. <laughs> I love how he wiped his fingerprints off while holding it with his, <laughs> yeah, with his other hand. <laughs> what the hell, man? Come on. There's still prints on the bottom of the glass. I don't... <laughs> you Maybe don't the touch fact the... that he's using the palm of his hand doesn't give anything away because it's fingerprints that uh, give you away. Do you know what I'm saying? So and the glass? And the glass? Mm -hmm. No, yeah, that's The shot glass. He, used, he cupped it. Oh. Yeah, there's the box that Lauren was holding. That's just being lazy, come on. There was the phone that we used to answer uh, the phone call earlier. We were like that off. What else is there? But see, he does this right. He grabs the phone by the clock and then wipes it all off. What? I don't see. I don't understand why he didn't do that with the first thing. Wait. Oh, wait. We gotta wipe the phone off that we placed back after we saw a thing being dead. Uh, Manfred. Yeah. God, you could be much longer. The police will be here any second. We're almost finished. Ah, camera, work with me. There we go. This, this one. Yeah. And one thing people tend to miss a lot is actually you gotta wipe the door. Because we came in ah, and we pushed our hands up against it. Because you think, wait, the shot glasses, the magnifying, the letter is the letter is in uh, Shelby's pocket, so that's not a problem. What happens when you don't polish everything? Uh, if you don't polish everything, you uh, get sent to a police interrogation scene, which you can escape if you choose the right things. Okay. Alright, so none of the glass needs to be wiped down. And what happens if you fail the interrogation? Uh, I think, and I think they let you go regardless because you're not really. You try to explain that you were just there when it happened. Okay. All right. Uh, Man, I feel like I'm in a movie theater. theater. I got my cookies. I'm just like oh. chilling with my popcorn, basically. I'm gonna wipe this one table down and look at it. Let's get out of here. That's it. That's it. We're you done. Get all the prints. Yeah. Well, why you press no? If you press no, you keep uh, I searching. What I got. It should be enough to prevent them from finding us. Come on, let's go. We'll know if I failed almost immediately, because the next scene that happens would be the result of me fail. But I think we got everything. Yeah, we're, we got away. We're not at the police station. Your home. Okay. It's getting way too dangerous. No, no way. We were partners, remember? We had a deal. <laughs> I don't like which... The deal's oh. off. I changed the rules. Whether you like it or not, you're going home. And I don't want to talk about it. The first time you played this That's game, it. did you get that that sequence right? I'm not a child. Polishing everything? Uh, yeah, I know only I because I watched an LP before I played it. Oh, yeah, not no, not, not to prepare myself for the game, because I watched the LP well, before I ever bought the game. I Just because be you like the LPs? Yeah. Wrong. yeah. There's a lot of games I probably scored myself on, but you know what? The guys that do it, they just that. Stop the it was car! Yeah, it was fun. Oh, shit. You know, I've actually done this. I've actually sat in the passenger seat and drove. My brother has. I probably should be saying they don't go past the kids now. Oh, as in, wait, what? I sat in the passenger you're, seat you're and drove. Find my so you stuck your foot own. over the gears? No, no, no. Like the guy, the driver worked the pedals, but uh, I did the steering. Oh, dude, my my dad, that's my sister, my ten-year-old sister, do that sort of stuff. This girl's stubborn as hell. Don't take my mood away. You let up. With or without me. It's, it's all, all my fault. fault. I should never have let her come with me. She's too weak. I don't like to kiss. Crap, I have no choice. I guess I'm doing this to protect her. No, but... Have you done that on an actual road or in a car park? Uh, you can't just uh, leave her like that. I mean, on a small road. You can do anything yeah, to find the guy who killed her son. I'm imagining... Went from, like what? Not to a highway, but... Pretty okay. much the small roads in suburbia. Lauren!
Such an idiot. She looks like something from Assassin's Creed. I better catch up with her. Yeah, yeah play Cody. It's the hair. It's just too solid. It's too perfectly it's rounded. So yeah. Assassin's Creed, we should get to that. Yeah. I've seen it too much. In what, I feel like Assassin's Creed is overrated. No, I definitely say it has its downfalls and uh, its praises are deserved where it is, where it does shine through, but uh, where it sucks, it does suck. Man, it's No hoodie, the irony. <laughs> no, no, she's wearing a jacket on top of the hoodie. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to take a small break. Alright, no worries. Um, we'll see you guys in the next episode. See you.